This is Pastor Mike Hoggard, pastor of Bethel Church in Festus, Missouri, and head of prophetic research ministry with another Watchman video broadcast. You have been emailing me this week, and I have been watching this thing um, since August. Uh, the, the story, the worldwide story, everybody's eyes were on their, as you say in the, in the UK, on their tellies, uh, watching this thing with the Chilean miners. Several of you have sent, a lot of you have sent me emails on this, and we are going to deal with this on the Watchman Video Broadcast. We've got a few things I want to get to beforehand, but be sure that you watch this thing so that you can understand what really is going on. Uh, the first thing, several of you sent me this article. Uh, this is from World Net Daily. State snatches baby when dad accused of being an oath keeper. A 16-year-old newborn was snatched from her parents by authorities in Concord, New Hampshire after social service workers alleged the father is a member of Oath Keepers. The organization collects affirmations from soldiers and peace officers that they would refuse orders that violate the U.S. Constitution in light of what they perceive as the advance of socialism in the United States. The father, Jonathan, Jonathan Irish, told World Net Daily that the affidavit signed by Child Protective Service worker Dana Bickford seeking government custody of newborn Cheyenne said the agency, quote, became aware and confirmed that Mr. Irish associated with a militia known as the Oath Keepers. Irish, in an interview with World Net Daily, said officers and other social services workers ordered him to stand with his hands behind his back, frisked him, and then took his daughter from him and his fiance at Concord Hospital where the baby had been born. Now, I want to... I saw this thing, and, and I want to I wanna say this. I don't know this man. I don't know if, if there were other mitigating circumstances that led Child Protection Services to take this baby away from them. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know this guy. But I will tell you, if, if Child Protective Services took this man's baby on the majority basis of him being a member of Oath Keepers, we are in trouble in this country. Now let me let me just kind of comment on this a little bit. Number one, uh, the baby has been returned to his mother and father, and we thank God for that. Uh, pray for this family that along with being Oath Keepers, they could be born again Christians. You pray for them, pray for their salvation. But this this troubles me. Oath keepers, and let me so that you understand this. A group of of soldiers, police officers, peacekeepers, who decided that they were going to keep the oath that they that they swore. They swore that they would protect and defend, just like the president, the the not the United States, but the Constitution of the United States. These are soldiers and, and police officers that said we're not accepting any other orders that contradict the Constitution of the United States. I, it, I thought that all soldiers and police officers automatically, by virtue of the oath they took, I thought they were automatically saying that they were going to keep the prop. What, what, what do we want? Do we want police officers and, um, and soldiers out there that will give their loyalty in some other direction? Is that what we want? And apparently, apparently, and, and I suspect the Southern Poverty Law Center or other ilk like this, uh, I suspect that probably they have listed uh, this Oath Keepers um, organization as part of some uh, right-wing militia, dangerous, going to overthrow the government. I suspect that they've, that they've been listed as, as something that is a threat not to the United States of America, not to uh, the Constitution of the United States, but they are a threat to the socialist agenda that is moving. It's, I mean, they live in, uh, where was this, uh, uh, Concord, New Hampshire. Okay, not known for its conservative fundamentalism up in New Hampshire. I'm not saying that some people aren't. I'm just saying they're not known for that. Uh, New England itself is a very liberal, very progressive, seemingly socialist-leaning uh, area of the country. And uh, I, here again, I'm glad that they returned the baby back. And here's, here's what I want to say about that, is that we have a voice. 
We have a voice. Now, had this all been done quietly and no news media had reported on this, like World Net Daily and others out there, um, had this not been reported and made a big deal out of, these people might very well have lost their child solely on the basis of this man saying, hey, I swore an oath and I'm going to keep that oath. What is this? Communist Soviet Union? Um, what are we, China? What are we, North Korea here? This is the United States of America. People have a right to affiliate themselves with organizations that are not a threat to the Constitution and the laws of this country. People have a right to that. And upon, if, if it's true, upon the majority basis of this man's uh, affiliation with Oath Keepers, they pull his child out of his house... Uh, out of their arms. Apparently they were still in the hospital. There's something wrong in America. There is something drastically wrong and if they can take this man's child, yours is not mine is coming up next. Okay? Uh, what organization are we part of? Bethel Church, Festus, Missouri, broadcasting from a top secret broadcasting bunker, uh, right wing, fundamental, Bible believing Christians. We'll take all of our kids away. Um, Wow. Um, a follow-up. You remember E.T. touching Elliot's head. Uh, this was the, um, the topic of last week's Watchman broadcast, talking about Michelangelo and the pineal gland. And here's E.T. touching uh, Elliot's forehead. And he said, I'll be right here in this, all this imagery. If you have not seen that broadcast, you need to go back and watch that. Uh, this was based upon Michelangelo's um, drawing of God touching Adam's finger, giving him life and illumination and all this stuff. We dealt with that uh, and several of you astute watchers sent me uh, several things this week. One of them which was a uh, an advertisement uh, for a financial group called SAS. Notice the SAS logo. You have the two elements uh, combining together. That That is as above so below. But look at this, uh, the woman here. The caption says, the future of your e-business, which is your electronic business, business over the internet, is being decided right here. Okay, now let's just stop and get this now from the biblical context. Uh, here we have a mark on her forehead, writing on her forehead, uh, where the pineal gland is. And uh, it has to do with commerce, buying and selling, so that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name on their right hand, or excuse me, in their right hand or in in their forehead. And then here uh, we have we have a watcher in uh, I think it's Hong Kong. Um, that uh, here's the image here of God touching Adam's uh, finger, giving him illumination, his arm wrapped around his uh, red-headed naked girlfriend Shekinah. Um, sons of God, daughters of men. Here is a, uh, it was apparently an outside billboard uh, on a building in Hong Kong. Notice the imagery here. The same finger point touch. And we have this floating male coming down from the sky angel. Uh, and a woman clothed in scarlet. Hmm. Wow. Sons of God, daughters of men. It's right. I'll tell you, it's it's not just here in America. It's everywhere. Okay. It's a. This is a. This is a global conspiracy. All right. It's going to cover the entire the entire globe. Uh, all right. Uh, here, somebody sent me this a couple weeks ago, and I I decided to fit it in here. Snap Scouts, uh, crowd sourcing crime prevention. See it? Snap it. Send it. Little cartoon character. It just looks so cute there. Uh, basically, this is a uh, a, a little a program that you can get on your, I think it's Google Android phone or an iPhone, and uh, for kids, kids walking around with cell phones, let me get my cell phone here, kids walking around with cell phones, you know, sending funny jokes to their other kids and stuff like that, and the program here, the, the, the software program, and the program itself is designed so that if a child sees something that it doesn't look right to them, 